Join us as we talk about depersonalizing your home to sell so that you can get a great price and sell your home quickly. Today I'm coming to you to talk to you about the importance of depersonalizing your property when it comes to selling your home and the importance of doing so. Here we have a beautiful stairwell wall with family photographs in it. This is my own stairwell and it's a fairly prominent feature in my own home and a lot of people will actually come into my home and they'll come up and stand on the landing and look at the old family photographs. If I was selling, would I keep them there? The answer is no. Why not? First of all, you don't want your buyer knowing that you are selling your home. You actually don't want to detract buyers from wanting to look at your home. So you want to remove anything that's personal or confrontational because you want to attract the most number of buyers. I know it might sound boring, but believe it or not, the number of times I have walked into a property myself and the first thing I do if I see family photographs sitting on a, on a console table or sitting on a bookshelf is I have a look at the photos to see if I know who is selling their home. And that creates a sense of gossip and innuendo when uh, you may be talking to somebody else and saying oh do you know such and such it has their house on the market do you know why they have it on the market and you actually want to depersonalize your home so that you are not creating that gossip that's happening behind the scenes but that's not the only reason I also feel that personal photographs are personal um, personal artwork that your children have done with their name on it is personal. Um, their old school photographs hanging in their in their bedroom, whether or not they've been rowing or netball or soccer or whatever, um, even their trophies with their name on it, take them down so that and pack them away and and neutralise your home when it comes to selling. Think of your home a bit like a five star hotel where you wouldn't walk into a, a hotel room and see a picture of the general manager sitting on the desk, but you might see a beautiful framed uh, piece of artwork. So one of the things that we do as property stylists is come into your home and, and I often say to clients, let's pack all your personal pictures away for your next property. For In this instance, with all these family photographs here, I would be having them taken down and I would either put an amazing big mirror here or one enormous piece of artwork or two large pieces of artwork in the stairwell rather than having all these family photographs. So yes, it means that I would have to patch the walls. Uh, it, it means a little bit of work and a bit of effort up front, but, but it's worth it in the long run because I really wouldn't want people coming in and questioning why am I, why am I selling my home? And, and that could be for various reasons. It could be that you've found something bigger and better. It could be that you're getting a divorce. It could be that, um, that you can't afford your mortgage anymore and you have to sell. And so you really don't want people talking about that. And that's one of the reasons why we always suggest that you just depersonalize your home. So that's my tip for today. Uh, my husband has a deer head downstairs in his office. I would also take that down um, because a lot of people can find that quite confrontational. Don't use things like cowhide rugs on the floor. Always be mindful of people's sensitivity to, to certain things and make your home non-confrontational. So there's my tip for the week.